everything nice and neat but now I realize that that is just a big waste of time so huh, that's what I do now because guess what as soon as I fold these underwear John's just gonna come pull one right off the bottom and they're all gonna just like fly everywhere so yeah you learn these things eventually I guess <laughs>
just put Aiden in his room for a nap and just watching him on the monitor. Hopefully he'll go to sleep. I don't know. The thing with Aiden is that he still drinks his bottle. And he always wants a bottle for everything, for every nap, for every time he goes to sleep. And I don't, honestly, I mean, he's two and a half. I don't mind that he still has one. The problem that I have with it is that he's drinking too much milk in a day. So I've limited down to two bottles of milk a day. Um, and his nap is not a time where he can have a bottle. So I usually just give him a bottle before he goes to sleep at night. And sometimes... He drinks it so fast that it, you know, he's asking for another one. So during the day, I try not to give him any more bottles. And yesterday, I did get him to go to sleep without his bottle. But, um, so it's kind of difficult. I feel bad because he keeps asking for one. But I have to be strong and I have to get him to sleep in his crib. That's what I'm trying to do because I just realized that I'm putting so much stress and pressure on myself by feeling bad for him and the things that I want him to do, you know, that I'm feeling bad for are normal things that kids should do anyway, you know. He shouldn't be drinking bottles all day and he shouldn't and he should sleep in his crib. So I don't know. I need to stop feeling bad. Hopefully he'll he'll sleep and then I can get some more things done. I haven't even showered today. She is sleeping though, so right now is the perfect opportunity for me to get whatever I need to get done. Shower. Um I cleaned up most of my room, except for that bag of trash in the floor. <laughs> I always have a huge bag of trash in my room, and I, I never know where all that trash comes from. It's kind of gross in a way. You don't see it until you like actually pick up things from all over the room on your dressers, on the floor, and so, so, yeah. Everything's pretty clean now. Now I'm just going to put all her diapers away in her diaper caddy. Um, and just try to get more organized. I just need things organized. I feel like I'll be less stressed out. I feel like I'll be happier. I'm always happier when things are clean. So I've been experimenting with a lot of different diapers. Huggies, Pampers, um, Honest Diapers. I'm taking out these honest diapers now. These are so cute, look. I'm taking these out now. So far, I think I like the Huggies and the honest diapers the best. Um, the Pampers the least amount, and that's how it was with Aiden, too. And at my baby shower, I got some packages of Love's diapers, which I absolutely hate because they just explode. It's like basically, for me, it was like Aiden didn't even have a diaper on. It just completely exploded. Um, I feel like there's no diaper out that's perfect right now. I've tried probably every diaper that you can imagine. And I like the Honest Diapers because they're cute and they actually absorb a lot at the same time. And the Huggies, I like them because they have the line where you can see whether or not the baby uses the bathroom. And they actually, I feel like they hold a lot too for Aria. And I use Huggies for Aiden. I use Honest Diapers for Aiden too, the overnight ones. Um, I'm probably going to stick with these. I think I'm going to order. I do have a subscription. I canceled it because I got it before she was born. And I just didn't want to have like a boatload of diapers. So I have a bunch of newborn diapers. I want to see if I can exchange them for a size of one. Because I know like these will probably be the last two packs of the newborn diapers that she'll use. Because she's nine pounds now. I mean, I feel like everybody has their thing with diapers. Um, you just have to see what works for you and your kid. I do suggest trying out the iron diapers. I'll put a link in the description box below uh, where you can try out the iron diapers. With that, just make sure, like, of course, I ordered the trial version and then I forgot to cancel it. So I pay, I ended up paying, I think it was $80 for the first shipment of diapers. I got like over 300 diapers and some cleaning products, lotion, body wash, which I think was worth it. I didn't plan on getting that, but that's what happens when you're a procrastinator like me. So I ended up buying the first one and I was only like five months pregnant when I got those, I think. So I canceled it until February. I think I'm gonna try for one more month, see if I like them when she's peeing a little bit more because I, I think the bigger she gets, the more she'll drink. 
and she'll probably pee a lot more in her diapers. And then with the size one diapers, I'll see if I actually like them and if they're worth it. And I'll let you guys know. This is the other print that I have. These are really cute. It's like a flower design. It's really pretty. I forgot how much newborns use the bathroom though. Like I literally change about, when she first got home, I changed about, I'm not even lying, seven to 10 poop diapers a day. And all together, like with her pee diapers, probably like 12, because most of the time when she pooped, she peed too. So it was like I was changing both at the same time. This is my wipe warmer. I don't really like putting cold wipes on her um, bottom or her body or whatever. Um, this really, makes me feel better like I feel bad when I put a really cold wipe on her because she always starts crying and I just try to imagine if it was me I would absolutely hate it especially in the middle of the night like when she first wakes up and to just be to just have a cold wipe slapped in her butt uh -uh. and this is my little setup I keep this right near the bed because you know obviously she's still sleeping in the room with us 